everyone. I'm coming back with a little different kind of a haul today. Um, I've gotten back into doing my paper crafting. I used to be into scrapbooking really heavily. I've got tons of stuff and today I started going through a lot of my paper crafting stuff and I just said, you know what, I really, really miss it. I miss doing scrapbooking. Um, not really scrapbooking, but altering things. For instance, here's something that I started. It's just kind of a little cheapy project. I got this little wood box at a thrift store. I think I paid 99 cents for it. And I painted it a teal color because that's my colors. And I started to put, put in um, some little paper things. And, you know, it's been sitting around for a few years, believe it or not. I've never finished it. I'm going to probably take some of these paper things that I put in there out. This is just a new little piece of paper that I got, but uh, I was just sticking it in there and kind of giving it a look. Anyways, I'm, I'm looking at this little pamphlet that I got, and this is what got me motivated. I was at Hobby Lobby. I've been back into watching YouTube videos on crafting again, and I have so much stuff from Tim Holtz to Cricut to you name it, um, Cuddlebug. I I have everything. I have every stamp. Um, you know, and so much has changed already since I've been doing crafting. So, since I've been doing the paper stuff. So, I have so much and I said, you know what, I'm going to start getting back into it. Um, maybe it'll get me out of my little slump I'm in, my little depression, my, um, what do we call this? The Perry divorce blues, I guess, or whatever. Um, yeah, so I just need to get back into some stuff that really makes me happy. But anyways, this is a pamphlet that I got, or that I found at Hobby Lobby today. And I said, oh, I'm going to work on this. Of course, it's not what I want now, but I'm going to change it up. Um, I did buy a little kit that's got some of this, I think some of the paper that I got today in this little kit right here has some of this paper in it. Probably all of it, I'm hoping, because I want to do something like that different than what I have in there now. But yeah, just little cute ideas of things that you can do. Um, you know, and Tim Holtz makes a box, boxes similar to this. Of course, they're different color and you can paint them or whatever. But yeah, so I just wanted to share some of the things that I got today. I got some Maj Podge, and I do use this when I glue down a lot of my paper. Um, I kind of learned a new technique today that you spray the back of your paper with water. Whoops. You spray the back of your paper with water before you actually put it down so that it doesn't bubble. Um, because a lot of times when you use this type of stuff with paper, it'll bubble. And so I saw a technique in a YouTube video today. And so, yeah, I've been just getting really motivated back into scrapbooking because of just watching so many videos. Now, here's a Tim Holtz pamphlet that I got at Michael's because, of course, I had to go, wait, wait, no, no, no. What am I looking at here? Nope, that isn't the Tim Holtz. Okay, this is Tim Holtz. Um, but Tim Holtz does carry one of these type of trays, different sizes, but today I found all of his, and I have a lot of these inks, and so, you know, I love his work and his mixed media and all the things that he does, and so I'm just going to get back into my scrapbooking. I have stickles, I have so many different types of, I have all of his inks, um, yeah, it's just time to get back into something that makes me happy, and scrapbooking does. Not necessarily, like I said, scrapbooking. I'm out of that phase of it. I'm more into, like, altering um, cigar boxes. I have probably 60 wooden cigar boxes that I bought a few years back, and this guy gave me a good deal from a cigar shop, a dollar a box. So I got some pretty nice boxes, and I want to start getting back into altering those. And I also picked up some little flowers to put on my little box today that and all of this paper of course not all of it but just you know some designs from that and then I picked up these little things these little clothes pins and I thought those were real quick cute everything was 50% off by this uh, spare parts so yeah Hobby Lobby carries a lot of different uh, spare parts, accessories, and paper, and everything else. And then I wanted to share with you a new 
um, mascara that I have found that I love from Ulta. It's the middle one. It's by a company called Essence. And it's on an end cap, an end display in um, the Ulta stores. They only had one, so obviously everybody knows about this mascara now. So that's $4.99. I decided to try this one, which was right next to it. It is a volume.